Demon. So we're going to debate about this chat. First thing is your thesis that you forwarded. You said that that image is everything you hate about communist movements in America. What's that? Okay, what else? Well, I, I think actually you're just, you're just scared. What am I scared of? You're scared. You literally added your your Discord server twice, just to just because you because were being racial. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. On Twitter. I'll tell you why, chat. You're, you're not chat. You're not special. Our infrared collective. Special. This image was shared one year ago, and our infrared collective saw how all the people just like you were ratioing the original image, and we were so depressed and despaired about it. Bro. But we are not going to allow that to happen again. So I am using the infrared platform to Twitter. avenge com the beautiful works Twitter. of Fan Wanan. You are molding on Twitter. Com. You started a stream before you because you are, are being evil. Up. You are a demon. You are the force of evil. The light shall prevail. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. I don't believe demon. it. Demon! Shaitan! Shaitan! You're just scared. Shaitan! I'm not scared. We have the power of the people on our side. You're a fucking evil demon, yeah, the are, enemy of the people. Are, Shaitan! 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 Shaitan will not win! Shaitan will not win! You're scared and angry. Shaitan will not win! You're losing! Shaitan will not win! I'm winning! So far, I'm winning! We are ahead of you! You're fucking. Your ratio has not succeeded. You have yeah. not succeeded. We're ahead of you. I'm going to get it to 1,000 likes. 1,000 likes. We will prevail. Shaitan. Evil Shaitan. So, Shaitan, let me ask you a question. Shaitan, Shaitan, Shaitan. You want... Listen, demon, demon. You hate this fact about the American communist movements. So what do you think will be more successful in winning the masses in America? Smiting the American flag and calling it colonizer or yeah. and being a cat boy or the fun one on path? Which one? The what path? Jesse, what the fuck are you Fawn, talking about? Are you about? racist against Chinese people? No. Yes, you are. You're a racist. Well, you're you are a racist. Like 2016 social justice warrior, social justice warrior with green hair. That's Which what you're you. selling it right now. Which is you? Which is me? Yes. I'll tell you, I, I never dyed my hair ever. You're a racist. I'm racist. Yes, against Chinese people, you're racist. I mentioned Fan Wanan's name, a Chinese name, and you mocked it. What a racist! No, no, no I just never heard of it. No, you're racist. He's the. By the uh, way, why do you uh, hate Chinese people's artwork so much? No, 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 it's actually pretty fine art, artwork. Oh, really? I, so no, then no, no, this no, is like what you... Well wait, wait, you said this is what you hate about Western communists, and yet it's a Chinese communist I, I who wrote it. A Chinese I, communist I is the one who painted I can, it. I can recognize that something is good-looking without agreeing with it. Oh, yeah? You said this is everything you hate about Western communists, but Western communists yeah, are nothing. Represents. You th okay, you think that's the aesthetic of Western communists, that photo? Yeah, well, it depends what kind of communist. Then why is it that a Chinese communist is the one who drew it? I don't know or care. I don't know or care. I, I want us to be more Western. I don't want us to be more Chinese. We should be more Western, right? You're doing your little baby voice because you have yeah, no arguments. Yeah, you're a baby. Because China's the only successful <laughs> communist country on Earth. And yes, we need to get on our fucking knees and bow to them as our fucking... The people who are smarter than us, wiser to us, we have to learn everything from China. And you're trying to say, no, no, we should be more, we should, we should have cat ears instead. You are ashamed to the communist movement. What communist movement are you talking about? Which one?
The one where that rules over 1.4 billion people in China? Which communist fucking movement are you talking about? What history of communism are you talking about? All the real history of communism came from Marxist-Leninists, came from the CPUSA in America. There's no history of communism in America outside the Communist Party. What communism? Go ahead. I don't even know what you're talking what communist, about, movement, what communist Average movement? Would, what communist would, movement? Would, what communist would, movement? What communist movement? They would discredit you because you look insane. Which That's communist what you movement? Look like Which that. communist movement? You I look, look like insane. insane. Why do you want to be yeah. another species? I look insane. I don't have cat ears. I. Wow. So That's I'm insane. Kind of rude, I'm insane, and you want to transform the American people into cats. I, right? never, I never said any of that. Really? But yeah. you're the you're the model for the future of communism, right? So we all must be I like you. That. We should be like you, right? You're saying that. You're saying everyone should follow your model like the soy watch that you no, are. No, I'm saying my model will be objectively more popular and more successful than yours. Which is failure. Oh, Communists are the most unpopular me... fucking people in the West because of people like you. It you use communism as a vehicle to realize your personal perverted fantasies of turning everyone into cats. It will never happen. It will never happen, Shaitan. It will never happen. As you're insane. You're actually insane. Oh, I'm insane. I'm insane, but you have cat ears. Yeah. I'm insane, but you have cat ears. Have cat ears. I don't have cat, cat ears in your real life. Why do you? Then why do you have cat ears in your picture? If I'm insane, why should it? Why should you care? Why should you're, I care? Because you have a you have you have a like car a you have a Disney cart listen you have a creepy Disney cartoon Disney. cat ear as Disney. your profile Disney picture. Fucking sucks. So it's chat. What's 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 the correct aesthetic? If that one's the false one, what's the what's a better, more correct aesthetic? Go ahead. I never called your aesthetic false. What? You. you... You assume things out of out of people like okay. that. You, you live in France. That's what you live in France, saying. right? You live in France. No, in Quebec. Oh, you live in Quebec. Well, the Qu Quebecis yeah. are they gonna follow you as their leader? Quebec people from Quebec suck. Okay, you hate everyone they, in the country you live in, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's why yeah. you'll always be a a relevant fringe marginal person. We should all be like you. Never be relevant? Uh, no, you saying I'm like a that. disgrace to the communist movement and you just admitted you don't think the communist movement should ever win? No, I'm I'm no, I'm saying I'm not a model. Neither neither are you. Yes, I am. No, you're a niche internet micro celebrity. No, have, I'm not niche. I'm at the top one percent of Twitch. On Twitch. You have, I'm at the top one percent of Twitch and rising. Chat, 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 chat. Chat, if it's, let's say you're on a train track. You're on a train track right now, right? And a train a few weeks ago was, or sorry, a few um, minutes ago was a mile away from you, right? And now it's 500 feet from you. And you're literally saying, oh, that train is never going to catch up with me and it's never going to run me over. And you're so, ir you're so irrational, you stay on the train track. Do you know what my rate of growth is? Do you know what my rate of growth is? I was... I was a fraction of where I was months ago. I'm rising so fucking fast. I can't even keep up with it. You really think I'm a niche micro celebrity? I am taking over the game. I am a rising phenomena. And my beautiful tweet of Van Wanan's picture is our Stalingrad. We are going to turn the tides of the American left. We are going to turn the tides of the American left. You're on the internet. This isn't Stalingrad. You're on this the internet is talking. the Stalingrad the of the internet culture war. This is the Stalingrad of the internet culture war of the left. Yes, it you're is. Talking, do you know what you're talking to, Has? You're talking to an irrelevant Twitter user. And you're acting like and this is you your rep Stalingrad. you represent, you are the representative. You are the perfect representative of the forces of shaitan and the forces of evil. And we will prevail. The light will prevail. The sun will prevail. The gorillas and suns will prevail. The night will fall. What the fuck are you talking about? You, you, that's what I'm saying. You're insane. I'm insane? I'm insane? Yeah. 
at least I believe in humanity and not cats. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Have the I'm time insane. I'm exist. insane. But your plan you know for your so have. so your plan for communism is to turn everyone into a cat. That's your plan. No. Yes. That, the only period. No. Yeah. And what if people don't want to be cats? I never said I want. Yeah, to that's your plan. No. That's your plan yeah. for communism. Your communism is everyone being an, a different animal. No. What's your plan for communism? Go ahead. What's my plan for communism? I have. I'll tell you what. I haven't read enough to know what my plan for communism is, communism is, and I'm not gonna pretend like I have one. Oh, oh, but but you you know enough to say that uh, that that image is everything that's wrong with the American uh, communist movement, right? Yeah. So what should the communist be movement? What should it be more like? More like you, like cat cat ears? No. What should it be it more like? Be more, all I know is, is that it should be less like you. Okay. If give me, give me an example of what it should be more like. like you, what, what should it be more like? Give me give me an example of what it should be more like. Go ahead. What I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. If every communist was like you has, we'd be in power. Would we'd never be in power. Ever we would be any power. kind of communism. We would be in no. power. In no. If every communist was like you, we would all be in jail. No, we wouldn't. I follow rules and I follow laws. We would be in power. We would be in power if they were all like me. You're delusional. No, I'm not delusional. You're the yeah, one who wants to are. be a cat, and I'm delusional. I never claim that. You're I'm not a cat. cat. Cool. And you're, you're, and. Oh, yeah. I'm delusional. And so, according to you, I'm the delusional one. But in order to succeed, Western communist movements have to be more like you, right? No. Then what should they be more like? What's an example of what they should be more Less like? You. All you know how to do is critique. You don't have any positive anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, you have nothing. You have a problem with that? So all you do is whine and complain and bitch, but you have nothing to offer. Hold on. What do you have to offer? What's your vision? Oh, yeah. What is your vision? What do you have to offer? Good question. What do you have to offer? What's your vision? Can you elaborate, please? Do you have something to offer this world besides whine and bitch and complain about it? Do you have a vision for what the communist movement should be more like? I don't know what it should be like, but I know what, it's, what it shouldn't be like. So all you is, do is whine, bitch, and critique move, and complain. Offering man. nothing. You have nothing to like offer. You. You're a force of negativity. You are a force of negativity, not positivity. Cool. Yeah. Why and should I care? That, okay. You represent death. I represent light. You represent darkness, I represent the shining sun. I represent truth and goodness, and you represent demons and evil, and lies and evil. That's what you represent. You, you, don't, you don't even make sense, Hat. Yes, I do make sense. Chat, once in the chat if it makes sense to you. Once in the chat if it makes sense to you. You want to be a force of negativity? You are evil. You are evil. You want to suck the... The life out of Amer Western communists. You want to drain them and demoralize them like a vampire. Drain them of their life energy so that they never have hope for anything. They have no positive vision. All they do, all they, they, they just be lazy cats like you. Lazy cats sitting on the couch, bitching and complaining and whining. You want to take their vital life force. Life force. You want to take their vital life force and their energy and suck it all out. That's what you want to do. Maybe that's what I am. Yes. And you are evil. You are satanic. You are a demon. You are shaitan. That sounds. That sounds awesome. Honestly. Yeah. Exactly. 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 And I represent vital energy that will awaken people to have motivation i represent motivation i represent motivation i represent motivation you represent the moralization shaitan that doesn't mean anything 
Wait and see if it's not gonna mean nothing. Wait and see if it's not gonna be nothing. We will reforge the CPUSA and turn it into a the people's CPUSA party. Isn't it we been will it's been re for eight It's years. not popular yet, but wait until we reforge it. We are going to reforge it. We are gonna revive that party. Trying we are gonna turn. Out of we are going to return no that party to its roots. We are going to return that party to its roots and the word communism will mean something once again in America. You wait and see. I don't care how fucking long it takes. That's what we're doing. See anything. I'm not going to see anything. Yes, I'm not going to see you in the okay, mission. Chat, you. chat, chat. You What's your what, what do you want? You yeah. want to bet on this? What do you want to bet? Let's do. Let's sign a contract. I want to sign a legally enforceable yes. contract with you. In five years. I if I, okay. In five, five years from now. If I do not make this impact of making an impact and changing the nature of the CPUSA, you have to give your entire life savings to me. You want to bet it? What the fuck your entire, are you about? all your <laughs> life's wealth, all your money in the bank, your home, your car, everything. Sign this legally enforceable contract with me and we'll bet it. That's dumb. Why not do that? You you just said you're not going to see anything. So you put your money where your mouth is and bet on it. I don't do bets. That's not what I do. Oh, because you don't believe in what you're saying. If you believe what you're saying is true, you should have no trouble betting on Listen, it. Even if I was saying 100% of the truth, I wouldn't bet my life. So you don't even believe it? No. Yeah, just, you, don't even, don't, you don't even believe what you're saying. Do bets. You don't, you don't even believe no, what you're I don't, saying. I've explained to you, I don't do bets. It's not what yeah, I do. Yeah, because you don't believe in what you're saying. No, because yeah. I don't do bets. Yeah, because you oh, don't, if, if you believe what you're saying is true, you should be willing to bet you're on it. You're dumb, has, has. You're dumb, you're dumb, you're dumb. You're dumb, you're, you're dumb. dumb. You're dumb. You're dumb. At, least I don't, at least I'm not a, trying to be a cat. When did I say that again? You're making stuff up. That's, so according to you, is. this should be the half flag. Stream, okay, okay, according to you, Western communists. Yeah, half your stream is just okay. you making up stuff and getting okay, yeah. According to you, nothing. according to you, Western communists should go outside and force people to be cats. That's your plan. No. Yeah. That's Again, your plan. you're insane. You're... That's your plan. You want to make everyone you're, a cat. You're only a bubble. That's your. That's your. That's your plan. You want to force. No. You want to force all Americans to be cats. That's your plan. No, I don't even live in America. You want to force everyone in Quebec to be a cat. That's why you hate Quebecis, because no. they're not cats. Yeah. No, I hate Quebecis because they're all racist. What's your ethnicity? I'm white. Oh, my God! A white, a white person complaining about racism? What do you know? You, you, hey, what's my ethnicity? Well, hey, hey, French colonizer. You colonize my fucking people. What's my ethnicity? You, if I remember correctly, you're like Turkish. Oh, no. My parents are from Lebanon. You French colonized my fucking country. So I have every reason yeah. to hate French people more than you ever would. But guess what? I still don't hate them. I have nothing but love and solidarity for the French yellow vest fighting to retake their country. That's the difference between you and me. You're a white guy who hates your people. I'm a Lebanese guy who has every reason to hate French people, and I still don't. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know. What does that mean? I don't know or care. I don't care. Who are you to talk about racism? I've experienced a lot of racism by French people in the past. By the way, I still don't hate well, them. Yeah, well, I'm, I don't well, hate them. Well, yeah, I'm sorry that happened. So you, so you, so let me get this straight. You are too traumatized by Quebecy racism, even though you're also it's white just yourself. Just racism. But There's me, many other me, kinds who's of actually history. come from a background that is victim of European and French racism, I can somehow get over it. But you, a white, a white person, can't, right? I can get over it, but you can't, right? And by the way, what helps minorities more? When white people say, oh, I hate all white people, they're racist, or when white people take leadership, take responsibility, so that racism among their own people 
can be combated because they're taking leadership and they're guiding their own people and leading their own people. Which one helps minorities more? Do you think minorities want you? You fucking think minorities want you and think you're no. useful? What do minorities gain from you? A okay, what do, okay, what do minorities gain from you, a white person, bitching about white people's racism? What do they Nothing. gain from it? Nothing. They're harmed by it. They don't, even, they don't just gain I anything. Say that. They're harmed by it because instead of going to work and addressing the problems of your own people and what they're doing to uh, the indigenous Canadian people and other people, instead of actually working to win your people and be the leader of your own people, you are literally just throwing yourself, trying to virtue signal to minorities who don't want you, don't care about you, and don't like you. Trying to virtue signal. Victor, yes, you sorry, fucking yeah, are. You're trying to virtue it. signal. No. You are virtue signaling. You are virtue signaling. Yes, you no. are. Uh, Yes, I, you I have are. many other reasons why I dislike my my people. It's why? Not just why? Why? Was, why? 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 They're yeah. annoying. They're annoying. They're oh, so you're better than everyone. No, I'm not. You're not. Are you I'm annoying? Also annoying? Are you annoying? Yeah. And okay, let me ask you a question. Do you hate yourself? Why would I? Well, but you hate everyone else because they're annoying, and you just agreed you're annoying. So what makes you so special what? that you're better? I'm not claiming I'm better. You're not? So you're, you're no different. What gives you the right to hate others when you're no different? Why are you a hater, by the way? Why are you such a... Also, so wait, wait, wait. Also, tell me, tell me why. Wait, why do you, lefties and Nazis, both are motivated by hate? Where are we communists are motivated by love. You guys are motivated by hate. Explain that to me. Well, because... Because of experience shit. Oh, really? I've seen, yeah. I've seen people getting fucking hit okay. and I'm bullied. A Muslim. And... I'm a Muslim who yeah. grew up in America, 9-11 generation. I grew up in school. Everyone hated Arabs. Always was being racist and shit against me. I've experienced shit. But guess what? I have nothing but love yeah. in my heart for American people. So does that justify your hatred? I don't have hatred in my heart for uh, American people. Like, why, for you. You, why is your hatred you justified? Explain. You Explain. have different perspectives. That's why, all. How? How? What's a different perspective? I went through a lot, a lot of racist bullying growing up. And I still have nothing but love in my heart for the American people. I have no hatred no yeah. hatred for the American people. But Explain. good for you. Explain. So I, what justifies your hatred your then? So what, what can justify your hatred then? Explain why you hate and you're a hater and you hate everyone just like neo-Nazis are. Why are you motivated by hatred instead of love? Go ahead. I'm not motiv motivated by hate. It's an aspect of what I believe. Why? Why? You are motivated what by hatred. Mean? You're a hater. You hate. Why are you so full of hatred? Why are you so full of hatred and evil? What is wrong with you? Why hatred and evil? Nothing justifies that. You hate the American people. You say, oh, they're settler colonialists. You didn't. Then leave Canada. You're a settler colonialist, aren't you? Yeah. Then get out of Canada and stop being one. Why don't you leave Canada? Why are you taking advantage of what the Canadian, Quebeci working people, they're feeding you, they're putting clothes on you, they're sheltering you, you're living off of them, and yet you hate them. Then fucking leave. What do you mean? If you hate the people that clothe you, feed you, and shelter you, you are a disgusting hypocrite, so leave. If you don't want to be a settler colonialist, then stop benefiting from settler colonialism and leave. Let me just recollect my thoughts for a second. Stop stealing indigenous people's land. Since you hate settler colonialism, you're taking up room and land for go. If you live in a house or apartment, you can make an arrangement to literally give homeless indigenous people your house and your apartment and you can go back to the your house. house. Why don't you do that? Why do you hate indigenous according to your own logic? There's more than it's not give just the about indigenous that. people your home. Yeah. Give them your property. I don't have any property. 
So you, where do you live? In a house? An apartment? Where do you live? I live in a house, but it's not my house. Give the indigenous your house. That's not your house, settler, colonialist. Give them your house. You're taking an argument and taking... Oh my God. What right do you have to hate your own people if you are doing the same thing they're doing? You have the option to be better than them, chat. Go give an indigenous person your house. There's a lot of indigenous homeless people where you live, so go give them your house. They can live there. Give them the deed to your house. That's their house. It's their land, right? It's not, like a, it's not my house, dumbass. Whose house is it? Take a guess. Your parents? Yeah. Then do everything in your power to move to Europe and give the uh, indigenous people their, that house. That's what your duty is. That is your moral duty. You have a moral duty to make sure that your parents sign over the deed of that house to the indigenous people. And if your parents refuse to do that, then they're evil settler colonialists and this you have to dumb. move out. This is dumb. Wait, this wait, wait. Is like, Why are you allied yeah, with settler colonialists? Why are you allied with settler me. colonialists? You're allied listen with... to me, Has. Listen yeah. to me, Has. Yeah. This is like saying that, that I'm causing climate change because I'm not recycling. This is the same no, argument. No, it's not. It's not, it's, Chad. It's not. About it's not. It's, not it's about literally not. This is about systems. You no, should know. No, it's not, Chad. It because is. guess what? If you want to stop or make any political change, you have to win the people. That's the axiom. If you say you hate the people, then you have to be a better person than the people. So what you have to do, Chad, is you have to stop living with settler colonialists who won't give the home and give land back. And you need to move. Get out of Quebec. Do everything in your power to get out of Quebec. Move back to France. And then uh, you could just live in France. As if France is any better. But France... Okay, what? Are the French colonialists in France themselves? Where are Europeans allowed no. to live? They're not even allowed to live in Europe? Where do you want them to live? Oh, my God. You're, you're taking... Where do you want... Okay, where do you want the French to live? Stretch. Where do you... Why do you hate the French? Where, where are they the supposed French to live? The French live in France. Okay, they're supposed to live in France, right? According to you? Yeah, they were, were, Okay, yeah. then go live in France. You, you, this is a dumb argument you're making. No, how's it dumb? How's it dumb? How's it dumb? How's it dumb? This is... Again, this is literally like saying... No, it's not. This is, you know, this is Any political like, change begins with winning the people. You're saying you hate the people because they're settler colonialists. Is mean, no, Therefore, is you mean, have a moral... Duty, you have a moral how, obligation and duty is me to not be the thing moving. that you hate. How you define your political identity based on hating others, so you have a moral obligation now to not when be the I same person that? you're hating. Yeah. I said that I dislike the, the people of Quebec because they're assholes, they're racist, they're queer phobic. Okay, then you need to stop being racist and you need to leave Quebec. You're sounding like those insane right wingers. You're not responding to the argument. It doesn't matter who I sound Man, like. You, you gotta get your ass out of Quebec. Oh my god! What you want to have the fruits of settler colonial racism, but you still want to bitch about it and whine about it? Do something about it. Why are you complaining then? Well, well moving out is not doing something about it. Yeah, it is. Since you since you realize you're not going to be able to win the people and win politics, then all you have left is your individual self and your own choices. So you have a moral obligation to leave Quebec according to your own logic. Leave Quebec. You have to go back to France. That's your own logic. There is... France is also benefiting from settler colonialism, not, dire not so, directly. So, so go, this is what you can do then. I can tell you what you can do. You can go move to France and live in the woods and you won't be Ben and you can, you could just live no. in the woods and not consume any product. You will be untainted by everything. You can literally this do that. This is not what I'm saying. Then, then you can do that. You can be morally pure and you could actually justify your position if you do that. If you do that, you will be justifying the position that you created on the internet for everyone else. You go live in the woods in France. You're not making sense.
Yes, I am. Because what a a France is your land, according to you. You are justified in living in France because it was not stolen from indigenous. So you can go live in France and be. For even though French consumers and French people benefit from French colonialism, you can opt out of that by just going living That's in the forest. That's not how you solve problems. Okay, how, okay, then how are you going to solve it? I don't want. Yeah. Don't have specific, how can you solve a problem without winning the majority of the people in the country you live in? I'm Go not ahead. saying you shouldn't win the majority of the people. Oh wait. Okay. So how do you? Okay. So that there we go. So you you agree that it's your duty to win the majority of people? I know it's not. It's not my duty. It's something you should do. Okay. You should you should win the majority of people. Okay. How do you plan on doing that, Chad? How do you plan on doing? I don't that? know. I don't know. I'm barely in college, man. So, okay, hold on. So, as far as the cause of winning the majority of people is concerned, do you think you are harming or helping that cause by calling all of them racist, settler, colonial racist, and also them, saying you hate them all? Is that, is that benefiting or harming I'm doing the neither. cause? I'm doing neither. Oh, really? It doesn't harm the perception that Quebecis have of communists, that they're a bunch of arrogant yeah, assholes you know what, who a think a they're stuck up. Quebecer. So, Listen, you, you, okay, so, sees what so I you, are making, you are making a little bit of an impact because a random Quebecie will see your Twitter profile and be like, okay, is this what leftists are like? Are you harming or helping? Go ahead. I said I'm doing neither. You are, because they're going to have a perception of you either way, and they're going to take away some kind of idea of what leftists are. And if leftists mean people who just bitch about the majority of people and act all elitist and act like they're better and act like, uh, oh, I hate racists and settler colonialists, do you think they're going to think you're uh, someone they want to get behind and you're going to win them over? My God, Hannah's. What does that, what does that even, even mean? You're saying words, you. you say words. It's very clear as day. In the end, has I'm going to tell you this. I'm a nobody on a niche, niche to... Sorry, Why did you come to debate me then? But you came on to debate me. Why did you do that? Because you were shit talking. Yeah. So why do you care since you're a nobody? If you're not willing to take responsibility for and defend what you put out on the, on the internet, why are you using this excuse, oh, I'm a nobody? You're clearly willing to take responsibility for the things you're doing. So don't use this excuse, I'm a nobody. Otherwise, you wouldn't have fucking come on to defend yourself. Oh my God. Why did you say I was scared of you, by the way? Now we're talking. You said I was scared of I you. I said you're scared of me. Yeah, you were. You were. Why? Why? You were... As you were... I just quote tweeted you, and I was ratioing you, which I don't care about. And the moment I was close to ratioing you, 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 were, you started to get mad. Yes, you I started, did. Well, you know why? You started because holding. there is no shot you know, in hell. There is no shot in hell that someone like you can ratio me because well, i represent you had to try hard there's you no had to shot. try hard you you chat, were crying chat, chat. there's no As shot in hell that i would allow a person like you to ratio me because let me tell you what chat if you ratioed me that means infrared is no longer fresh infrared is no longer vital infrared no longer has a unique message message infrared is no, no longer reaching people infrared is no longer a powerful force in the, in the internet infrared is not a it's rising not phenomena you think i'm gonna let that happen force. you think nobody i'm gonna let knows that happen what infrared is nobody knows what infrared is it's irrelevant okay are you irrelevant yeah i'm who's also more, irrelevant. what's your irrelevant, point me or you the why does that matter? Can you answer you, the question? Uh, why why does that matter? Okay, now I want you to do another thing. Name an influencer who's grown as fast as me in the time that they started. Go ahead. I don't know. I don't look at your st stats like this. Can you name one? I don't, I don't, I, like okay. I said, I didn't okay. look Let at me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Five months after Vouch started streaming, what were his what were his viewers at? I don't know. I don't care about the vibe. Was it a, was it eight hundred? Was it as high as mine? 
Rivash was a special case. What about Hassan? Was our... What about Hassan, the most famous guy on Twitch? You, how many you know average viewers was he? Had? How many average viewers was he getting? Do you know what Hassan had? Hassan fucking. Hassan was already had a platform before yeah, he started. I know. I know. Rosh already had a I know. Like, that's the thing. I you know. Had he, nothing. Hassan already had a platform, and yet I'm bigger than him when he was at my stage right now. So how can you say I'm irrelevant when I'm growing this fast? If I'm irrelevant, that means you, I'm not growing anymore. But I'm still growing daily. So how am I irrelevant, chat? You're relevant in the current moment. That's like saying a train is stationary because you arbitrarily decide no. the train isn't moving. The train is that's, moving. Chad, uh, the, the train is moving. Get off the tracks. It's moving. The train is moving. Listen, in the grand scheme of things, fucking you, Zeno's paradox. Vosh, you literally are like so saying Zeno's Vosh paradox. You're like saying an arrow. It's like saying an things. arrow is stationary it, listen, because an arrow's as, movement is the sum total of the points at as, which it fucking listen moves. Listen to me. Listen to me. Has. Has. If you go in the street, okay, and ask a random person, who is Vosh? What will they tell you? What will they most likely tell you? What does that matter? Yeah. If you ask them who is Hassan, they'd probably a good chance they would know. Yeah. Maybe, because Hassan is literally the biggest content creator. And why can't I become on that? On Twitch. Why can't I become that? I don't know. No, explain it. You're the you're expert. Not why why can't I grow same that type of audience? What's going to stop me from Hassan growing that Hassan and Vosh have a mainstream audience because they have mainstream politics. They're oh, both really? liberals. Oh, you're really? Oh, really? So oh. who has a bigger audience, Vosh or Jimmy Dore? I don't know. I don't full. Jimmy Dore people. does. Does Jimmy Dore and have he... mainstream views? No, he fucking doesn't yeah. have anti-establishment views. No. What the fuck are you talking about? Fucking so Jimmy Dore Jim, is like okay, a, if Jimmy Dore, uh, an average liberal. Oh, okay, then I'm an average liberal. So what's going to stop me from growing? If Jimmy Dore is an average liberal, then I'm an average liberal too. Uh, then that means you, you, you're not a communist. Okay, but here's the thing. If you, you're, if you you're think you're defining, you're to... okay, what, okay, why is Jimmy Dore an average liberal? Let's justify that. Why? How, what makes he him an average like the, liberal? He, Even if you're going to call him a that. fucking liberal, which is wrong... How is he an average liberal? He's a fucking very different than liberals. He talks like my uncle uh, at the dinner table. So, and how are you qualifying that? I'm qualifying that as an average person. So if Jimmy Dore put on cat ears, would that be okay? He's not a liberal anymore? I wouldn't is, give So a wait, shit. wait, to you, is liberal just the same thing as what the 4chan Nazis call normies? That just means normies to you, right? No. So someone no. has to, if, if someone's not an extremist with cat ears and an extreme, bizarre, oh strange God, freak, has. that means they're, that basically means that they are liberals to you. you. Liberal just means normal to you, right? Depends. Oh, of course it depends. Yeah, so what's so liberal does. about Jimmy Dore? Everything Dorr? depends. Tell me what's liberal about Jimmy Dore. Go ahead. Tell me what's liberal. What's not? What's not liberal? I don't know. The Pepper fact wasn't. that Jimmy Dore is a living embodiment of a fucking re online insurrection against the fucking liberal consensus. What do you mean an online? What do you mean an online insurrection? He what literally you represents. What do you mean? You know what you're doing. <laughs> do you want to keep interrupting? I'll tell you me? this. You literally asked me how. Yeah. I'm trying to explain it to you. He is an anti-establishment platform. Do I have to mute you? Why do you talk over me? What do you think you're going to accomplish? Jimmy Dore is a common liberal to you, right? Explain how. I tried to explain how you wanted to interrupt me, so I'm going to let you explain how. Go on. Oh, are you going to interrupt me or I can explain? No, go on. Jimmy Dore voices positions, opinions, and views that are in direct contradiction with the mainstream liberal consensus that it actually exists. No, he does not. Okay, Jimmy how Dore agrees he? with the establishment and acts like he doesn't. What's, what does Jimmy Dore agree with the establishment about? What does he disagree with the establishment about? 
I don't know. Let's let's talk about force the vote. He wanted to force the vote for Medicare for all, and the establishment didn't want to. The, the liberals hated him for that. Let's talk about that. Oh. What do you mean how? Jimmy Dore wants to form a third party. He, he, he doesn't want to vote for Biden or the Democrats. He says, don't vote for them. Let's form our own party. That disagreement in disagreement with the entire liberal establishment consensus. Yeah. Oh my God, it has. So how is, he a, how is he a common liberal? Explain. Most people would agree with that. Oh, really? Yeah. Most liberals would agree with that, that we should not vote for Biden in the 2020 election. Mm -hmm. No, no, the, the thing before. What? The third party thing? No, the thing before that. The force the vote thing. You think most liberals agreed with force the vote? I'm, I'm sure if you ask someone. There is no major liberal figure in America who voiced agreement with Jimmy figures. Dore about force the vote. There's not one. Not one. Not even a single one. If there is one, name them. It's not about figures, it's about people. So which liberal agreed with Jimmy Dore's force to vote? The average person would have said, yeah, that's a good idea. No, but you, this is the difference though. The average person is not a liberal. An average person is not an ideological fanatic extremist like you. The average person doesn't really care that much about politics. You don't need, you don't the, need I, I agree with fanatic. You. The average person would agree with Jimmy Dore, which is why people like Jimmy Dore and myself win over normal people. But in I your eyes, say, you in your eyes, that's what you Dore hate. That's what you hate about Fan Wenan's drawing, about Jimmy Dore and about me, that we appeal to normal working people and not freaks. Who want to turn everyone into cats? What are you talking about, Hans? You hate the normal. You hate the people. You hate society. You hate the people. You hate humanity. You go on the street and you look around and you have hatred in your heart. You have hatred for the people. You are an evil shaitan demon. You fucking hate Jimmy Dore because he resonates with most people. You call the popular American majority liberals? Liberals? Oh How are you not a fucking liberal? You're not a liberal? No, I'm not. Explain how. Explain how. What's your views then? I'll explain to you why your views are liberal. Go ahead. Explain. What, what differentiates you from a liberal? Go ahead. What makes you different? Where do I even start? Yeah, name one thing. Can you ask me like a position I can uh, like have a stance on? Just name one thing that separates you from a liberal. One thing that separates me from a liberal. Oh, oh my God. I don't support capitalism, first of all. Oh, okay. You claim not to support capitalism. No, what does do that mean in reality? Capitalism. So what does that mean in reality? I want to dismantle the system of capitalism. What does that mean in reality? What does that mean in reality? Because to me, it just sounds like you're a liberal off their meds. So what does that mean in reality? What do you mean? What does that mean? What does reality? it mean to dismantle capitalism? What does that actually mean? It means getting rid of the global system of capitalism. How? What does that mean? How do you get rid of it? Like, what does that even mean? How do you get rid of it? Yeah. In many ways. Yeah, in name one. Such as revolution. Such okay. as... You're just taking, talking... Such as the... No, such as the proletariat taking state power. Okay, okay. But I thought you were an anarchist. No, I'm not. Okay. So, the, pro, the so-called proletariat taking state power. But you hate the majority of the proletariat. So, how are they going to take power? I don't know. I don't know. Because you're a liberal mm -hmm. who doesn't want to be responsible for their liberalism. No. So you LARP as an extremist, even though, just like fascism, you're the hired thug of liberal globalism. What? Anytime there's a major threat to global liberal order, you are on the front lines to repress it. For free. For free. So do you think it's liberal or not liberal to want to define your politics based on your personal individual fantasies? What does that even mean, Hans? 
It means, for example, so you talk a lot about dismantling and revolution, which means what in reality? Where, where, where do we make the connection to reality rather than fantasy and abstraction? Where does it actually become real? What's real about what you just said? What's, what's real? Yeah. What's real about what you just said? What's real about what you said? How do I even explain that? I don't know. You're the one who said it. it. If you can't explain it in a sentence or two, or just minimally explain what you mean, why would you say it? Just a virtue signal to other lefty extremists? No, I. Yeah. Where did where did where does reality fit into what you just said? I just yeah. That's that's such an abstract question. Okay, you said you want a revolution. So how do you get from A to B? Yeah. Where's 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 the revolution? How? What does it mean practically I'm, I'm to still, say you want a revolution? What does that mean practically? In what sense of the... the I'm just trying to give an nice answer. In what sense? You Okay, you said I. what differentiates me from a liberal is that I want revolution. So how do you yes. want revolution? How will that be a reality? If that's something you really do want... I'm, I, I, yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm still looking into this. I'm reading. What? But but you said that's your position, that it's what just differentiates you from a liberal. If it's not something real, then it's not a real point of distinction. It's just a LARP, and it's just a cosmetic persona you put on online, when in actual practical reality, you're a fucking liberal. Yes. All you lefties do is critique others, and that's what motivates you to hold on to your position. But anytime someone asks you what the fuck do you actually mean by your positive position, you have nothing. All you know how to do is point out the perceived contradictions and hypocrisies of the people you don't like. But you have nothing yourselves. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, dengism isn't real socialism. But you don't have a real socialism. You have nothing. You don't even have anything. You have nothing. You're just a force of negativity and shaitan and evil. And you're trying to suck the energy and the life out of real communists. That makes you an agent of the ruling class. And it makes you a fucking liberal who only dwells in negativity. Because guess what? Liberalism is the reign of negation. That's what liberalism means. What the fuck do you think liberal freedom is? You think liberal freedom is positive? No, it's negative freedom. That's what liberalism even fucking means. Liberalism is the abstract, negative, Cartesian individual standing above society with abstract, formal rights that are purely negative. Sense. That's what liberalism fucking means, and that's what you are. You are a liberal. Do you have anything to say for yourself? What I have to say to you, has is that you need to go outside. This is your, this is your, oh, he left, he surrendered. 